that doesn't happen here very often, to have live music instead of our, we're quite proud of saying that the music you hear uh, long before the show starts is all music that was recorded here live, and tonight you got to actually hear music live that was being recorded. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> Thank you very much. I knew there'd be a reason to bring that piano up. Wasn't it a good idea, Trevor? We were thinking about it, like, is this going to be on the stage? Is it going to get in the way? And, it, and it's so far, everybody who comes here actually ends up playing it. And um, we extended the stage an extra two, 23 and a half inches, 22 and a half inches. All those lights that were down over there are now up there. And what else has happened? The fan. Does everybody remember the fan that always felt like it was going to fall down? <laughs> well, it did. <laughs> Only we took it down, so it made it a lot better. Well, we're very lucky tonight. It's a Saturday night. It's in March. We're into our, what, third day of spring? Young Malachi's into his second day of being 10? Third day of being 10. Yeah, he had his 10th birthday here. Yeah. Actually, got, he actually got to perform. Right. He's quite the performer. That's why he gets such here. So tonight, watch out, because he's going to be stealing a bunch of licks off. If he does that, <laughs> he just gets it all. Right. That's what he does. He, he absorbs is what he does. Um, he's our rink rat, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is the Duncan Show. we got some people out there watching live tonight. I hope there's some people up in Idaquai, and I hope there's people down in... Mm. Victoria watching as well. They couldn't make it over the Malahat, that terrible, terrible Malahat. The worst drive in the world, they say. But it isn't. It really is a nice drive, and it's well worth it, especially when the moon is as like it is this next couple of days. It's been like just a treat to see that thing coming up, illuminating the sky. Finding my house at night is so much easier than the full moon, right? Oh, God, we turned the lights on. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, we have two people that have the opportunity whenever... Uh, Roly has a propensity to go to Mexico a lot, right? Because I don't know, maybe it's the weather or the beach or something or else, the lifestyle. Uh, seeing as he lives in Haida Gwaii, which is also got its own interesting lifestyle, right? So that, that's kind of a cool thing that goes up there. Um, but he goes south every so often. On the way through, he stops in, and on the way south, he stops here, and on the way back up north, he'll stop in again. And this is one of those when you're on your way home, right? Yeah. yeah. That means, oh, right, a winter. Mexico, I get it. <laughs> Jeez, slow learner, but I get it eventually. Anyway, um, and then Carla is someone that he's, they've had an opportunity to uh, to connect musically, and they do that still over the internet. But when they actually get the opportunity to to showcase together, they do that. Carla runs a, a couple uh, uh, open mics down in Victoria, jam so to speak, where people come and get together, and it's kind of keeps the roots of the music going, keeps people out there listening. And so tonight, again, they're going to be doing a, a, a double set. They're both singer-songwriters. Somewhat similar styles, but different. But they can accompany each other, and that's a really nice thing. Roly, I first met through Willie P. Bennett uh, when you were doing shows up in, uh, in, L in Lumbrick. Or up that whole, that whole northern route there, that, that little up along. One of the places. One of the places that, you know. So when I see all the harmonicas, I go, yeah, right. And the neck brace, we'll be getting some of that again. Anyway, it's going to be a fun time, Roly and Carla. Let's give them a warm welcome. We'll get the evening started. Thanks, John. I tell you, it's great to be back up here with Carla. Good to yeah, see you again. I can see the same thing. Yeah, it's amazing, eh? It is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you in Mexico, by the way. Yeah, it was a good time in Mexico. I got to uh, visit Roly. Off chance, uh, impromptu uh, visit. Um, so that was wonderful. We got to rehearse there. So we got our chops up months ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Puerto Vallarta, but uh, we stay in La Panita, which is about what sixty kilometers north of Peewee. Are you ready? I'm ready. <coughs> I am.
She still takes time after all these years to cast a special smile my way. And we hold each other closer now after all we've been through. The longer love is better. Yes, it's true. Love keeps growing stronger. Yes, it flows. And often now, I think of how we're given and how we've grown. Longer love is better. All in all, longer love is better. You. That was for Sky, who started to show off there. <laughs> this is actually the first song that Carla and I ever really played together. She's going to walk off the stage and leave me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had understood too, but we won't do that one yet. We'll do this one instead. <laughs> <laughs> this one's an old song, probably written in the 1970s. So yeah, back when SoCan was called ProCan. It's called the radio. Radio. 
you sang along with the country songs. And you knew all the tunes on all the stations. And you tapped your foot in time while you waited for the Saying, darling, please come home. I've worried all night long. And I cried when I tried to find the words to tell you. How I loved you and how I wanted you to stay. And then there come this tune on the radio. And you said, here's our song. And you turned it up and you hummed along. And it was one of those lonely love songs. Saying, darling, please come home. I've worried all night long. As the sun washed through the shade I ate my buttered toast And drank my coffee And every word rang true it Sent me back to you And it was one of those lonely love songs Saying, darling Thank you. <laughs> Maybe we have one more before uh, Carla comes back up. She's remaining in place there, so. song I wrote uh, way back in 2012, actually, but I never finished it. So I, uh, I took a bunch of songs down to Mexico with me this year, some that I written a long time ago and never finished and stuff like that. And this is one of those, so I'm hoping I can play it. Maybe I'll sit down. I've never played it in public before. It's called Peaceful Carriage, actually. It's a funny thing because, I, like I say, I wrote it in 2012. And the first line is, the albatross is a bird of wisdom. I don't know why I was thinking about albatrosses, but. And anyway, I uh, took the song down to Mexico, and I figured 
All along I figured it needed a B section. So uh, with that in mind, I didn't know, well, I didn't even really know what the B section should say. Still don't, actually. But uh, I looked it up, Albatross, on YouTube, or I mean on, on um, Wikipedia. The first thing it says is, an albatross, a female albatross named Wisdom, is the oldest bird in the world. And I thought, wow. <laughs> you know, I didn't know anything about albatrosses when I chose the word wisdom. And I found out, wow, it's the oldest. They've been tagging her since 1954, and she was five years old. I mean, this albatross is as old as I am. <laughs> what can I say? Better yet, put the right harmonic in here before I embarrass myself. So this is to uh, Wisdom, who uh, because she had her 57th chick this year on the San Juan Islands.
It's been so long now, I've been soaring on these winds so high above the storm. I've flown so high, I should be dreaming, never thinking of coming down. Thank you. She's back. <laughs> Want me to keep sitting? No, I think it'll be fine. Maybe. Okay, sure. Carla's going to do a few of her own songs by herself. Carl's got this beautiful uh, Haida Gwaii guitar here that I've been playing. It's funny because uh, you don't see many of those Haida Gwaii guitars. Thanks, Rolly. It's actually become uh, our shtick when we do shows together that Rolly completely forgets what, what our set list is. So then we banter back and forth. So it's just part of the show. So great to be back here and share some music, and what a wonderful place to do that, where they celebrate original music and music in uh, all over the world. There's been so many people here uh, that have been on this stage, and I'm so honored to be here. Um, I'm going to uh, go with uh, Rolly's theme and uh, share a song of wisdom with you. It's called Honest.
Yes, Ruli and I met uh, about 10 years ago, a decade ago, um, and uh, he, of course, recognized this beautiful guitar. Uh, it's got uh, some Paraguay markings on it, and uh, there's uh, it's a shape of a canoe here on the bridge. Um, and it's, it's just all around, it's just a beautiful guitar. Um, and it, um, at the time, I was quite young, um, and I was a finger picker at the time, so this hybrid neck was, was wonderful to, to be able to, to do that. So uh, this is one of the first tunes I wrote on this song. It's called Come to Me. It's no
not really sure why, but I uh, just, uh, well, I guess I probably know if I really dug down deep why I keep writing sad love songs. Um, and uh, it's been a bit of a habit. I have written a, a positive one as of late, so there is hope for the world of Carla and her love life. Um, so this one is called Elastic, and um, I'm sure well, maybe you haven't experienced this before, but uh, when someone just really doesn't understand you uh, and, um, you know, takes your heart uh, advantage of. So that's what this song is about. And I'm just going to take one uh, drink of water. not a last
heart is not elastic. Thank you so much. And uh, Rolly's probably still sitting down because he doesn't know he has to come back up for the next one. Oh, there he is. I should have faith. I should have faith. Um, Rolly started attending my open mic uh, in Calgary. Um, and he would invite me up on stage just to back him up. And so we just kind of, we would just be chatting and we would never stop chatting in between <laughs> sets and uh, just became instant friends. So, instant connection, so it's been great. To be able to play shows with you. Should I get you to play your guitar? Oh, yeah, of course. Carla's guitar actually made it up back to Haida Gwaii last summer. And she came up to play the Tlal Fall Fair. Mm -hmm. It was nice too. <laughs> she felt right at home. bought an A minor harp several years ago and I have yet to figure out where I sh would ever use an A minor harp. <laughs> mm. So if anybody has some suggestions. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> let's hear about it. <laughs> this is called The Change Is Gonna Come.
big. You just have to drive a different highway. You just have to wait another week. You just have to reach inside your sorrow and find the soulful melody. A change is gonna come. A change is gonna come. how a song is different every time you play it. I guess that's the attraction of painting when you're finished it, you're finished it, right? You want to do an old cowboy song? <laughs> well, this is an old song. I uh, When I first started playing the guitar, I I'd been a drummer, and I finally figured out you had to have a band to be a drummer. And I figured the only way to make a living was to be a, you know, a singer, guitar player. So I hit the road after buying, after about two weeks after buying my guitar. I ended up in uh, <laughs> Fernie, Blairmore, all those towns down in the coal mining country. So I originally started writing this song about the, the next door neighbor when I was living in Fordham, Alberta. But it ended up to be uh, written about something else. I'll play this one for a friend of ours in uh, La Panita, Mexico. Brian, who lives next door. He's a cowboy from Colorado. shirt and an old guitar. 
He says, I heard you playing that old strawberry roan last night, and he kind of squints at me with his watery eyes. He says, you know, I can't even remember when I last heard that pack of lies. I just realized that I don't have my C harmonic in here. says, I heard you playing that old strawberry roan last night, and he kind of squints at me with his watery eyes. So, you know, I can't even remember when I last heard that pack of lies. And then he laughs and slaps my shoulder, and he says, how come you don't go get your guitar? When I did, I remember thinking to myself, what do you get yourself in for? Cowboy John still rides the range, he still plays old banjo. Girl Ned for the moon, no same old tunes. He learned so long ago out on the trail around the campfire. Those notes, dusty sounds. Well, they live on in the country songs that are sung by Cowboy John. about heartbreak. And he plays another one just for fun. And then he plays one for the old days. It's a real life cowboy song about how old cowboys never weep. Oh no, old cowboys never cry. Old cowboys just get lonesome for sleeping out beneath the sky. And cowboy John still rides the range. He still plays old man Joe crooning for the moon those same old tunes he learned so long ago out on the trail around the campfire those lost dusty sounds well, they live on in the country songs that are sung by Cowboy John well, they live on in the country songs that are sung like Cowboy John Yodeling Thank you Wonderful, wonderful to have somebody talented enough to just cover you when you <laughs> fall and crash and burn and stuff. That's what a friend's for. <laughs> you want to try Mother Nature? Yeah. <coughs> Is it the right part for me to turn on here? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> um, maybe I'll play some guitar. They packed up the drums uh, and cleared off the stage so we, they had, we had room for our antics. So Rolly's going to do some scissor kicks and some interpretive <laughs> dance during this song. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
feel so clunkety up here with, with Rolly, but uh, it's all in good fun. So, uh, so happy to share original music with you. This song is called Mother Nature and uh, goes out to Mother Nature. It um, comes from a really uh, place of deep concern for the earth. Um, yeah, it's going to play some harmonica, I think, eh?
So well, this is um, another old song. Do they have any new songs? Well, not many, but we have old songs. I actually got the idea of this song. I'm standing at the overpass in Swift Current, hitchhiking to Ontario way back when I used to be one of those thousands of kids out on the roads hitchhiking back in 1968, 67. So that's where this song comes from. It's called Jimmy D. Standing at the overpass in Swift Current, at night you can see the trucks coming from miles across the prairies and they'll disappear know, among, uh, below the horizon and then they'll reappear again. And so that's sort of uh, the image that I have in my head when I'm playing this. And of course, with the scream as they go by and leave you standing there.
rude. She stinks like crude when she rumbles in through cowtown. And her headlights roll with no aluminum doors and shivers up your back air now. But when we're loping out along the open road, there's only her and me. And I guess I'm just a backseat driver in a rig called Jimmy. Jimmy G. Thank you. Uh, looks like we're at to our last tune of the yeah. night. Yeah. So, thank you so much for being here tonight, everybody, all our friends and new friends and uh, visitors here. And uh, remember to keep uh, this place in mind every weekend. Live music, uh, almost every day of the of the week, and uh, to, s to support this place. What a wonderful place to be. Thank you so much to uh, Duncan Children for having us one more time. Thanks to John and uh, who's back there mixing. Ted and Trevor on, on sound with us today. Yeah, Ted and Trevor, yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for Duncan Showroom for being here. This is a sing-along, so you know what to do. Fears the way we die. And you can make the mountains ring. You can hear the angels cry. Know the bird is on. Turns for us at last. We are but a moment sunlight fading in the past. Come on, people, smile on your brother, everybody get together, chat a Get 
you hear the song we're singing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and fear, right in your trembling hand. Just one key unlocks them. It's their ritual Thank you, everybody, for showing up. It was Thank great. Thank you so much. Wonderful. See some people here. Fabulous. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Calico beneath me, grass up to my knees, riding through the black bear hills, a dead song on the breeze, red coat riders on our trail, soon they rode us down, their fire sticks cracking.
They left cheap and maker Behind that iron wall Sweet grass fields are burning Take us, they will come. Do one more. 